Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today I bring hope for hardware in 2020, starting with more Ryzen 4000 based notebooks coming, Intel's 11th gen desktop gets PCI Express 4.0, next gen Ryzen and the RTX 3000 series are likely coming soon, and Intel's 7 nanometer monster of a GPU was spotted. But first, if you aren't already, make sure to follow me on Twitter at GamerMeld and join the Discord server for news and channel updates. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, if you've been itching for a new Ryzen 4000 based notebook, you likely won't have to wait much longer. Of course, with the recent story that Intel may be paying OEMs not to use AMD processors, pickings likely won't be that great for a while. But AMD's very own chief architect of gaming solutions, Frank Azor, stated on Twitter that both this month and next month will bring many more Ryzen powered laptops, as well as a few Radeon powered ones. Now, we could assume that this is just an empty promise, but since we're talking so soon, it really is likely true. So if you've been holding out, wait just a bit longer and you should have better options. Next up for today, Intel's 11th gen series may seem like it's a long ways off, but remember two things. First, Intel almost certainly planned to release 10th gen long before now, but between the thing that shall not be named and issues with power draw, Intel was forced to wait. Second, with 4th gen Ryzen coming, Intel has to do something soon or they don't stand much of a chance. Basically, 11th gen will likely get here fairly soon, and with that comes new leaks. Starting things off, we have a tweet from the well-known leaker Komachi, who's likely referring to the upcoming Z490 when he says that it supports 10th gen and quote, future generation Intel Core processor. Basically, it should support their 11th gen Rocket Lake S series of processors. The next leak comes from Video Cards, who was able to get a hold of Gigabyte Z490 marketing material. In it, you can see that Video Cards claims the Z490 comes with support for the new PCI Express standard, though it's limited. Well, you would think that means 10th gen gets it, but Komachi actually found that the PCI Express 4.0 slots are quote, reserved for future, which likely means the following generation or 11th gen. According to Tom's Hardware, Intel originally planned to support PCI Express 4.0 on the chipset, but they ran into problems, so the limited support likely means it will only come from the CPU, which would be those future CPUs. Next up for today, according to a report by DigiTimes, TSMC has gotten a ramp up in short lead time orders from both AMD and Nvidia, so much so that it's expected to give TSMC a strong first half in 2020. Now, the story is obviously reported for investors, but it's extremely telling. For one, both AMD and Nvidia's major products are a year or more old right now, minus AMD's Ryzen 4000 mobile chips, but those are still a few months old. Basically, a big order from both companies likely means one thing, new products. Now, AMD uses TSMC for most everything, but the main thing we know that's coming this year from Team Red is Big Navi and Ryzen 4000, meaning AMD is really readying their launch. When it comes to Nvidia, the only thing that could force huge orders like this is definitely a new generation of GPUs. As usual, the company would likely release their data center GPU first, but not long after would be the RTX 3000 series. At the end of the day, while 2020 has so far been a year of missed opportunities, thanks to the thing that shall not be named, but it could actually end on a huge high note. Lastly for today, Intel's ultimate XE discrete GPU, Ponte Vecchio, has been spotted. Remember that Ponte Vecchio is Intel's upcoming 7 nanometer HPC GPU that's set to use their new 3D packaging technique called Favoros, as well as combine multiple chiplets for a multi-chip module based GPU. Basically, this thing is a monster, and Momomo underscore US found a few new EEC filings for their reference validation platform, which is basically for software vendors to use so they can optimize for the upcoming GPUs. What's wild is that, as pointed out by Tom's Hardware, it also comes as an AIC or add-in card, which is more of your traditional graphics card. Unfortunately, it doesn't give us any specs, but they've been through quite a few iterations based on these numbers, so it's clear that Intel is on track for the release very soon. So while that does it for today, what are you most excited for in the second half of 2020? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you liked the video, please subscribe, and as always, have a great day.